Since the inception of time, humans have always been terrified about the destruction coming from space. When talking about destruction, asteroids have always stolen the spotlight. However, we are now in a time when humans must begin to take a wider look as asteroids are not the only cosmic objects we need to worry about. NASA has detected a ginormous comet that is about to take over the news. And needless to say, we humans might not be prepared for it. The comet is currently traveling into the inner solar system and is traveling fast. With a blistering speed of about 35,500 km per hour or 22,000 miles per hour, this speed is fast enough to fly from the Earth to the Moon in just 10 seconds. At this pace, it is simply just a race against time. Every second counts, and a single mistake might even result in the collapse of humans' one and only planet, the Earth. What is this comet? How much damage can it do? And what can humans do about it? Fasten your seatbelts as we begin our journey to investigate the new images of the largest comet ever discovered by NASA. This is just an another ordinary day in a typical city. And this is it the next moment. Yes, the majority of people are unaware of these monsters' power and strength. But these are merely ordinary comets. Picture a comet five times the size of New York City. Comets of this size can vanish our entire planet from the face of the universe in an instant. NASA, in its latest press release, has warned the entire human race about this eye-opening finding. This picture of the Comet C-2014-UN 271, or simply dubbed Comet Bernardinelli Perstein, is in shockwaves around the world. This cosmic object will pass by Earth in 2031 in an exceptionally close approach of roughly 11 astronomical units, according to the latest estimates. What is one astronomical unit? In simple terms, one astronomical unit is equal to the distance between the Sun and the Earth. Although this may appear to be a safe distance, Scientists have already learned from previous estimates that orbits of comets are exceedingly unpredictable and can deceive us even at the very last moment. To get a clear picture, we need to go back a decade in time when Pedro Bernardinelli and Gary Bernstein, at Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile, moved their telescope into a dark patch of space in the sky and spotted this strange fuzzy object. The researchers out of fear continued photographing the thing over and over eventually compiling an album of colossal 80,000 shots. The team then uploaded this data to a supercomputer which analyzed its size and distance. The scientists then went over the data and found something they didn't expect. Based on the quantity of sunlight it reflects, astronomers estimate that the object's diameter is between 60 and 125 miles. That's an insanely big number. To put that into perspective, the asteroid that knocked out the dinosaurs was just around 6 to 9 miles broad. The weight of this massive comet is believed to be 500 trillion tons. That's like stacking 10 million Burj Khalifas on top of each other. Imagine being hit by an asteroid 14,000 times heavier than the one that wiped out the dinosaurs today. With a blistering speed of about 35,500 km per hour or 22,000 miles per hour, the amount of energy carried by this comet is on steroids. If such a comet collides with our planet, it may cause tremendous tidal waves, a new ice age, and an explosion unprecedented in human history. While movies prefer to portray asteroids wreaking havoc on mankind, the notion is not merely a work of fiction by movie studios. Asteroids actually pose a real genuine threat to all of humanity. To make matters worse, comets have joined the quest to call for an end to life on Earth. However, because Werner Dinelli Bernstein is still so far away, it's unclear whether the calculations are accurate. To picture a clear understanding, let's fly off from Earth and travel into the solar system. We travel past Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. We eventually arrive at our target as we penetrate the icy depths of space. This ocean of rocks is the Uid Cloud. It's a hypothetical location in the solar system that contains tons of asteroids and ice blocks. A spherically shaped region of space that contains numerous remnants from our solar system's early years. The Uit Cloud is literally the dark past of our solar system. The Uit Cloud is also around 100,000 light years away from our star, well beyond the dwarf planet Pluto. It's most likely the birthplace of Bernard Dinelli Bernstein, the biggest comet in human history, which is now heading straight towards the Sun.
Take a look at this image. This is the newest image of this comet, which is rippling throughout the world. But what really makes this image so intriguing? When a comet is so distant from the sun, scientists feel it is unusual for it to have tails. It's amazing that the comet is already active and has such a long tail. Usually comets get a tail when they come close to the sun. As the comet's surface heats due to the star's radiation, light components such as ice begin to evaporate. This produces a cloud of dust and steam that extends well beyond the comet. Bernard Eilie Bernstein, on the contrary, is too far away from the sun to begin heating up. This indicates that its surface is made up of diverse materials. It's possible that it's a big rock of pure solid carbon monoxide. This might explain the boost in the comet's brightness. That is why it is visible through telescopes on Earth. Fortunately, Bernard Eilie Bernstein will not be approaching Earth right now. The comet is approximately 20 astronomical units from the Sun, or 20 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. It implies that in 2031, the comet will cross the orbit of Uranus, passing 11 astronomical units distant from our star, which is slightly beyond Saturn's orbit. This will be Bernard Dinelli Bernstein's closest approach to the Sun. It will then begin its journey back to the solar system's border. However, the comet will certainly return again. It will travel away from the Sun and slow down until the star's gravity pulls it back, at which point the comet will complete another orbit around our solar system, which will take roughly 3 million years. Naturally, to play it safe, scientists are devising strategies to preserve the Earth from such a catastrophe. NASA intends to slam a spacecraft the size of a dishwasher into an asteroid that collides with the Earth. The mission is known as the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART. The plan is to smash the half-ton spacecraft with the asteroid at a speed of roughly 4 miles per second or 6.6 .6 kilometers per second. One of physics' rules is that applying force in one direction should result in a response in the opposing direction. In terms of space, it will be similar to military training. However, NASA's database has almost 2,000 potentially dangerous asteroids that are within 0.05 astronomical units of Earth. Let's hope our telescopes point in the proper direction and at the appropriate time, so we can be ready when they appear. How do you feel about this? What if you zoomed in on Bernard Eilie Bernstein and discovered that it is a highly advanced alien spaceship? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it to the fullest. Consider subscribing the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.